Yo, what's up? It's Ben MG Scully, knocking out a new video for you guys today. Um, by the time you're seeing this, I'll have already fought Mark Boswell. Um, I'm I fought him on May twenty, May sixteenth. Yeah, May sixteenth. I'll put a beer if I'm wrong. I fought him May sixteenth, um, twenty twenty one, and right now it's Friday the fourteenth. So we got just under two days uh, until the fight. Uh, I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to it. Um, for any of those who don't know, we're going to be boxing 10 three-minute rounds of boxing, having a minute break in between each round. We'll have no head guards, and we'll be having 12-ounce gloves um, to use against each other. So I may look a little different when I cut to me after the fight. Um, but, yeah, fingers crossed I don't look too bad. I mean, you know, I'll put a picture of me on the side be of what I look like after the fight. Not too good. I hope not, but hopefully I'm okay. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, it's there's gonna be a link in the description to the fight because uh, it will be uploaded before this video is. Um, so if you haven't seen the fight when you're watching this, go check it out in the description. Uh, there'll also be a comment uh, that links the fight too. And if you, and if you can't click on a link or click on a comment, just Go onto my channel, you'll see it, it'll be on one of the uh, most recent ones before this video. Um, it's going to be a long fight, I think. Um, what my prediction is of the fight, um, what I'm saying before the fight, I believe, because um, uh, my opponent Mark was the one that requested 10 three-minute rounds, I believe that he is overestimating his stamina, and I think by about round six, I think he's going to be pretty tired and I'm going to pace myself and be, uh, you know, keep my head screwed on and I think that he's not. I think he's going to gas himself out in around middle rounds between rounds four and eight and I think he's going to walk on to something that's going to put him down. And uh, my friend Niall Rudge, the person I boxed with two years ago, shout out to Niall Rudge, um, his channel is also in the link in the description. Uh, definitely go check his stuff out as well. Uh, if you see on his channel, I also boxed him two years ago. I lost to him. Uh, hopefully I won against Mark, but um, Niall will be the one kind of uh, posing as the referee in this fight. So um, hopefully he doesn't have to do too much. Uh, hopefully there's no, you know, fouls or, um, you know, early or late stoppages. Hopefully he does a good job. And... Um, yeah, you know, good luck to Mark in the fight, um, and uh, hopefully I don't need luck, but, uh, you know, I guess I wish luck to myself too. And good luck to Niall as well, and I hope he does a good job uh, ref in my fight. And uh, that being said, uh, this is me before the fight, and this is me after the fight. So, I didn't win, but I didn't lose, so I'm in a bit of a funny situation now because uh, I have got another spa in the works now but the idea was that my friend uh, who I'll uh, mention at a later date when things are a bit more confirmed wanted to spa the winner of me and Mark but now there's no winner so he just basically had a free choice if we wanted and he said he'd rather spa me so if things go according to plan uh, we'll see about having uh, a match with another one of my friends and uh, hopefully sometime in the next few months I'll have a rematch with Mark um, but it will be in a different set and it won't be in a field when it's raining it'll be in a ring uh, in a gym and I think it'll just be like it'll be similar to an amateur fight in that sense but it'll be a spa like what I done with Nile Rudge two years ago um, nearly two and a half years ago now crazy enough but um, in terms of facial damage as you can see it's not much I did have a bruise there on my cheek, it's kind of faded now, and I got a bit of a bruise on the side of my eye, but there, and uh, I got a bit of a cut lip, but there, but um, yeah, other than that, um, not too bad. Uh, he did land some good shots on me. Uh, I counted up the clean shots. Uh, it's maybe incorrect. This is off. I watched the fight four times, slow motion and everything, and looked at what... W I was being very picky with our shots, though, in terms of what I counted as a clean punch. I counted only hitting with those knuckles and landing anywhere, uh, you know, uh, anywhere landing on the face. Like, 
Uh, and on the body, of course. Anything that is legal in boxing, that is hit with the knuckles, I counted. Um, I counted that Mark had thrown 200 punches in those five rounds, but he only landed about 33, between 33 and like 38 uh, shots clean. And about 30 of those were on my face, so that's where I got that bruise and that lip from. Um, especially without the head guards, that changes it completely because that bruise wouldn't be there with a, without, with a head guard on. Um, since the head guard would kind of block like that, it kind of give me a bit of padding on my face. Um, but the lip would have happened anyway, so you know, that doesn't, that would, you know, it, and it only happened like I think in the third round. Because um, I remember, you don't see it on camera, but between the rounds, I take my gum shield out uh, after, I think, third round. It might have happened in earlier, but I only, I only realised in the third, I take my gum shield out to have a sip of water that was on the side. And I look at it, and there's a little bit of blood in the front part of it. Um, but uh, yeah, I kind of like, ooh, what do I look like? Because I hadn't seen myself until after the fight. But thankfully, I looked alright, other than the lip. But uh, I wanted to see that um, after. But well, my plan was, um, and I think the main reason it was a draw, uh, was that we were scheduled to fight ten rounds, but only completed five. That made it so our pace was a bit more sustainable, and uh, we could have probably maintained that pace a little longer. I think Mark, at the pace he was going at, I think he could have gone to like round seven before his punches would be slowing dramatically, you know. I think he could have gone around seven rounds, and I think that's pretty fair to say. His stamina was a lot better than I was expecting. To compare, KSI and Logan Paul, with that big YouTube fight, went six rounds both times, you know. And don't get me wrong, they were throwing more shots, but they were in an enclosed space. He was in an open field, so it's kind of, you know, you don't want to overcommit because a punch can come from anywhere, since you can walk anywhere you want, uh, whereas you're not confined into a small place with someone where you have less room to move, but you have more room to punch. Um, I believe that if uh, we had a rematch, uh, it would be more entertaining, regardless of the outcome, uh, since there is no, uh, there's less room to get away from punches, and you don't worry as much then about missing a punch, because especially with the ropes there, just applying pressure, you don't really get much out of the pressure other than just trying to land one punch uh, in the fight with Mark. But if you apply a lot of pressure in a ring and their back hits a rope, then they, that leads to more, you know? So, especially the fact when I was coming forward every now and then, uh, Mark was mainly just going backwards. Um, and that was due to his uh, lack of much experience, but... Um, I could have, in a ring, maybe I could have exploited that. I don't know. I, I don't want to say anything would have been different. Um, I don't want to make it look like I'm making excuses or anything because it was a very close fight regardless. Um, what I've, I believe is that a lot of people believe that either they agree with the draw or they think that Mark just edged it. And I, I, can, I can definitely see that. And um, I think a draw is fair. Um, but if you believe that Mark edged it, I can understand. Um, from my point of view, uh, I believe that... I, can't, I don't know what rounds it was, but one of the rounds was super close, and then two of them looked like I edged it, and then two of them looked like Mark edged it. But it was a very close fight, regardless of who you saw edge those rounds. So, I mean, you could have Mark winning all five rounds. You could have me winning, like, 3-2 or something. I don't think I won all five rounds, Not definitely not. But um, you could have me edging it, you could have Mark winning clean slate, you know, it's all up for debate because every single round was re was pretty close. I was landing good body shots and was showing some solid defence and Mark was coming forward, being the more active fighter um, and, you know, putting the pressure on, uh, trying to land a bit more. Whereas I was looking for those cheeky shots to the ribs and focusing on trying to tire Mark out, because that was my strategy for the first handful of rounds, was to mainly just tire Mark out, so then in the later rounds of the fight, from round six onwards, I would come forward, apply pressure when Mark is tired, and then go upstairs to the face, 
That's why I don't hit him in the face many times in our fight, because I was waiting for the later rounds um, to hopefully get him a bit more tired. And then, because he wouldn't be able to move as quickly away from my shots, that face would open up and I would be able to land more. Obviously, I'd still go to the body as well, just to make just to get him as tired as I could. Um, in terms of how I was feeling, uh, obviously, yeah, I had a bit of uh, a bit of slight, a bit of like pain from my jaw, or whatever, um, and I had a bit of a an ache on the back of my neck. I still have it a little bit now, but it just happens when you've took over thirty shots to the face uh, without a head guard, especially with uh, you know someone who's a bit a good bit heavier than you, like Mark is uh, for me. But um, yeah, it was a good fight, and the fact that we couldn't complete the the fight, it was it was gutting for me because. I I was it was it was getting for Mark too, but in in my view, those five rounds were my uh like feeling out rounds and to my those were my that was my it's like two phases of my of my fight. There was the early phase, which was me to tire Mark out with body shots and making him miss, um and then the just to not take as much damage as possible and maybe sneak uh you know steal a round here and there, but then the second phase then was to come forward and make sure I won those last few rounds. That was my strategy, but we didn't. I didn't have a chance then because of the weather and the technical difficulties, aka my phone just turning off because of the rain. I guess it just turned off because it was maybe a bit of water damage. I'm recording with it now, so it's fine. And when I came back to my house, I still had a, hand, a good bit of percentage in it. Um, when I plugged it in, it just turned back on and had loads of percent, so I don't know. Maybe next time we shouldn't do it in the rain. Uh, we didn't have much of a choice because... Uh, we were gonna do it uh today of the of this time of recording this video, which is Sunday the sixteenth, um the day the fight was released. But we done it uh yesterday on the fifteenth on the Saturday, uh because we weren't sure how the weather was gonna look on the Sunday. And me and Mark and my friend Riley, the rec the person recording, we didn't know if we had a mutual like a day we were all free again for about a week and we didn't want to have to push the fight back by a week because you might lose some interest so we just thought hey we're all free the day before let's just do it because the weather doesn't look as bad so we literally just agreed on the day or the night before let's just do it if the weather's good and uh that's exactly what we've done so respect to mark for you know being up for the challenge and you know taking that fight and changing the plans you know without much time before and um yeah i'm happy with how i performed what I thought in the in the fight, I was kind of nervous, but the, it was it wasn't as bad as it's been before. Like when I sparred Nile Rudge or had my boxing match with Nile Rudge, it wasn't debilitating. Like even though I threw, even though I looked relatively similar in terms of my output, the reason my output was low against Nile was because of the nerves, uh, more than anything. But the reason my output was low against Mark was mainly because I was saving my energy and trying to be as efficient as possible with those body shots. And then I had my plan in of opening up later in the in the fight, like doubling my output and uh, making him uh, crumble under pressure. Um, my goal wasn't to knock him out. Like I said, my prediction was it, but I wasn't aiming to knock him out. Um, I wasn't looking for a knockout punch, but I suspected that he would get desperate in the middle rounds after he would get tired and he would walk on to something, which... After hitting him with some good shots, I don't think that would have happened. I think he was uh, a bit tougher than I was expecting. And I feel like I'll, both of us maybe lost a bit of power in our shots because we couldn't plant our feet as well in the marshy ground. So next time we do it, it's definitely going to be in a ring. And uh, next time I spar one of my friends, it's definitely, if it's in a field, it's going to be when it's nice weather. So And short grass too, so there's no slipping and sliding. It's going to be tougher ground, but not concrete. So... Uh, if the fight, if my next fight gets confirmed in the coming weeks, I'll announce it on you, and uh, for you all to see, I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, it was a great fight. I uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, I took some good shots. People can't say now that I can't take shots because they saw my spars against Riley, and because I didn't really get hit, other than a like a jab that I got caught on the end of against Riley, I didn't really get hit with anything like big in the head. Uh, without that head guard and the only other video of me getting hit in the head was with 16 ounce gloves and a head guard on so and you know it was two years ago as well so uh, it's you know uh, has my chin improved and whether it's improved or not I'm not sure but 
whether it's there or not, I'm pretty sure you can um, agree that it is. I mean, I mean, if you're, I mean, look at these clips of me um, getting hit. You know, there's some good, like a good right hand from Mark. Um, he hit me with a handful of hooks. Um, some good uh, shots that, you know, if I wasn't a train, if I hadn't trained in boxing before, they probably would have put me down, or at least rocked me at the very least. But uh, don't tell, you know, don't. Uh, I'm not lying when I say that I was feeling them, like, you know, they weren't rocking me, but they were bloody, I was feeling the the force behind them, you know, and I think that's just the no head guards, you know, and maybe the weight difference too, but, I, you know, if I didn't care, if I didn't like the weight difference, and I didn't want to fight someone with the weight difference, I wouldn't have fought him in general, I knew that they were, I wouldn't have fought him at all, because I, I knew there was going to be a weight difference, but I didn't really care uh, too much, to be fair. I I fought plenty of people with, who were heavier than me and, you know, held my own. So I just wanted to see how Mark would do in that situation. You know, if he can handle having a spar without head guards on, on camera, then I'm sure he can uh, start boxing properly in a gym and have some proper sparring sessions against someone uh, more his own size, you know. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to having more fights and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what Mark does as well too. Because he's got some fundamentals there. Don't get me wrong, they need a little bit of tweaking, but that will always come. And in terms of a starting position for boxing training, he's better than, I'd say, 90% of people when they start boxing. Because he's got that instinct uh, to throw back instead of covering up, which is something that I always had trouble with when I started boxing. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what he does next when the gym's open fully and allow pads and allow sparring. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward. The future is bright, everybody. And uh, when a ne when the next fight happens, you can guarantee that it's going to be on this channel. And I can guarantee that it's going to be a good watch for everyone. So that being said, thank you all for watching. Ben M G Scully is out.